picturesque view as I stand alone on the shores of Africa, a place I call home. Though strong and proud, the son of a king, today I'm nothing and stripped of my royal thing. Once a proud warrior, the conqueror of the mighty bear, now I'm standing here in this strange place, naked and scared. Where is this place? There's no land on a wooden raft chained by this white man. Why can't this white man understand a word I say? Can he see in my eyes? I don't want to stay. A prince shouldn't be chained and bound. I should be free to smell the sweet nectar of the African ground. What are these strange names they are forcing on us? With me us like animals while they cuss. Looking up in the sky, I have seen the same moon causing me to remember my favorite tune. Why must these men take our queens to their bed? Their reward for their pleasure is feeding us bread. Like home, freedom is something that you earn. Now, it's just something that we all will yearn. It's time to leave, so which way shall I go? Shall I follow the moon or follow the crow? Under the cover of darkness, our plan is to head north, waiting for others to come forth. As the song instructed, I follow the river to a creek. A candlelit house is what we seek. Slowly approaching, we could see a white man at the door. He just smiled and hit us under the floor. Our freedom was shattered by the familiar sound of a bar, hoping to be shielded by the cover of dark. The acute senses of the doll led him straight to us. Thought it would be better if we don't make a fuss. To set an example, I was chosen to be with, bleeding from every orifice on the return trip. As I lay there on the back of a wooden cart, just occurred to me that I couldn't hear my heart. When I looked up to take a look around, with a lot of activity, I couldn't hear a sound. Why do I feel so peaceful and serene? Why can I move around camp without being seen? Suddenly, I was startled by the familiar voice of my long dead father. And standing next to him is my brother. How could this be? I know they both are dead. Closing my eyes to try to clear my head. A soft touch on my shoulder brought me back. And a feeling of freedom that I long time lacked. My father spoke to me in a heavenly voice. Saying, son, it's now time for you to rejoice. I asked, are we going back to Mother Africa, a place I call home? He said, no, my son, we are going to a place where we will never be alone. I still remember home. 
a slave story. <laughs>